brothers and sisters. Chapter 11, the understanding of the scripture through the eyes and heart of Francis of Assisi. Before I begin, I'd like to go back to something really important about our life, especially our founder, that we all know that he's a man of relationship. And he's always was focusing on the relationship with others and with things, with creation. And in, um, the way he's treating the scripture is through a living relationship. So he's looking into the scriptures. He's looking into it um, through his, his way of that he relate with others. So I love the way he look at the scriptures because he's um, using relationship. Um, what I mean by this is that it's, it's a living way. He sees the scriptures as something that is alive. So when I venture says that he uses three points in his life in order for him to leave the gospel. So first is prayer. Francis was a man of prayer, but at the same time, that prayer of his life was anointed by the power of the Holy Spirit. That prayer was, uh, was uh, moving through the power of the Holy Spirit, and that's the way that he was able to uh, understand the scripture. That's, that, that principle of prayer gave him the strength to be able to remain faithful to what he learned in the scripture. At the same time, we see Francis uh, praying all the time, praying in caves, praying while he was walking, and doing everything through prayer. And what I mean by this is that he took time to sit before the scripture. He read the scripture. He wanted to know the scripture. He wanted to know the scripture because of Christ, because of that living person that is Jesus Christ. At the same time, the second principle that Bonaventure talks about is that he took the scripture very seriously. He took the scripture with affection and constant devotion. He was always giving himself to it, completely, he, he whole self, his emotion, his, his thoughts, his desires. He wanted to bring himself into the scripture. He was becoming what he read. He was becoming what he was knowing through the scripture. And another way that Bonaventure talks about Francis is that through that relationship that he had with the scripture, which is Christ himself, he was able to leave the gospel. He was able to be a living example for others. But without that relationship that he had with the scripture, in prayer and also taking that seriously he wasn't able to to do what he did especially for all of us that's why we have what we have today our order and we have so many fries around the world because he is giving us a way of living a way of, of knowing Christ and something else that Francis didn't want his brothers to neglect um, prayer because of studies and he recognizes the importance of studies, but he didn't want his brothers to be cold while they were studying the scripture. Rather, he wanted his brothers to get into the scripture by loving Christ, by being connected with him, and, and knowing the way that Christ lived in order for us to imitate Christ. Something that I know is that this has to be personal. It has to be, you have to own it, it has to be your own. You have to get into the relationship of the scripture. You have to see it through your own eyes. In order for us to bring that into our brotherhood and our sisterhood, into our community. That's what St. Francis did. He first needed to have that relationship with the word of God. In order for him to be converted. And then he brought that to his brother, to his brothers. And to the community. And that's how he was able to evangelize. And I see that he's giving us like a roadmap to be able to understand the way of Christianity, the way that we are about to walk, the way that we are to preach, the way that we are to communicate with one another. And I love this, and I'm gonna use this example of distinguishing knowledge versus knowing. Knowledge is um, having uh, a, the concept of knowing something about something. 
Um, but knowing is different than knowledge because um, Brother Andrew, when he cooks, he has a recipe. He has the knowledge of that recipe. But then he needs to know the ingredients of those, of, of, of those recipes. He needs to understand the ingredients and then he can make great cakes, delicious cakes. So what I mean by this is that Andrew, he doesn't only has the knowledge of those ingredients, but he knows those ingredients by loving those ingredients and by believing that those ingredients can make great cakes. And at the same time, that's how we need to look at the scriptures. It's by loving and believing into Christ. Andrew is looking into the, those um, recipes. At the same time, we also need to look into Christ. That way we can truly be what God is calling us to be. And what do I mean by this? We need to fall in love. Andrew is always telling me, you need to fall in love with what you do. What, what you make. That's the only way you're going to be able to be who God is calling you to be. You need to give uh, uh, an identity to what you make. And that's why, as, a, as, as, a, as my own personal reflection, I need to be the Christ that others need. But at the same time, my brotherhood needs to do the same thing. But by falling in love, it is that, that we can truly become another Christ. But another thing is that in having this relationship, with the Word of God, we truly find purpose and meaning of who we are and what we need to do. Then we can truly find the light. We can delight in who we are and what we do. The same way that we enjoy when our brother cooks. And that's the way we're going to be able to attract others to come to eat the Word of God. That way they can truly masticate, savor the Word of God. And it's so important because we do have the road, the, the roadmap. We have the way to show people how to believe, how to know, and how to love the Lord. And I'm so excited that as a friar, our, father, our founder gave us the recipe. He gave us the way. How to relate with Christ through prayer, through, through believing that we can have ourselves completely devoted to the scripture, to our way of life but also to show the world how we need to do it. The same way that Andrew, when Andrew cooks, he's showing us that it's possible. And I'm using him because I talk to him a lot about food now, and he's helping me understand that you need to have a, a, per, a person, it has, the food has to have personality. And you have to come from your heart. Brothers, I really encourage all of us to find that mission that God is giving you as the same way that Francis found his mission, loving the gospel, looking into Christ, looking into his miracles, looking into his parables, looking into the way he loved the world.